Despite its own research, numerous injuries and even the death of a baby, Transport Canada has failed to take the one step that would make air travel safer for the smallest of passengers, making child seat belts mandatory. If you have a baby lying in a seat or lying in your lap, with no restraint system, that child is going to hit the ceiling. We're required to restrain coffee pots in the galley for takeoff and landing and for turbulence, but we're not required to restrain infants. Here's what happens when a parent tries to secure a baby during turbulence or a crash. A small child can suffer severe internal injuries caused by that adult-sized seatbelt in the same situation. The red belt goes around the back of the airplane seat. Mom Susan Muscovich contacted Go Public after flight attendants repeatedly and incorrectly told her she's not allowed to use an approved seatbelt she carries for her two-year-old daughter. She wants airlines to make changes if the regulator won't. So the airlines nowadays, they charge you for every little thing, but they should be supplying I mean, these harnesses, for them to supply it for toddlers and small children. Canada's two biggest airlines, Air Canada and WestJet, say they're just following Transport Canada rules. Transport Canada documents obtained by Go Public indicate the regulator recently and yet again found making seatbelts mandatory could have a high impact on the health and safety of infants, but notes it would be contentious, costing the airline industry more than $10 million a year. The department tells us it's now doing an in-depth examination of the issue. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary.